Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alana. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're turning, thank you so much for coming back. First things first, I want to say thank you to every single one of you who has made my goal come true here on YouTube of reaching a thousand subscribers. I'm actually sitting at 1100 today, but thank you so much um, for anyone who's been here from the very beginning or if you're new. All of this support literally means so much to me and I could not have done that without any of you so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and i hope that you stick around um because i am just literally just getting started here on youtube i know i keep saying that and i know i keep coming and going but i'm really trying to stay consistent for you guys and i'm really trying to get content out there um but in today's video i'll kind of discuss more of what's been going on in my life i want to give you guys a life update so you can understand maybe why i haven't been so active on social media and what my life's been like outside of filming. Um, so before I get too into it, I kind of wrote here in my note a guideline of where to go and what to talk about so I don't just make this video and it be all over the place. I wanna try and make it um, make sense, if that makes sense. So let's go back to, let's say eight months ago. So I think it was like even more than eight months ago, about. I would say about eight, nine months ago, I made a video and I was sitting at home with my boyfriend and I had just gotten out of the shower and he was filming me and I had no idea. It was the most coincident video I've ever seen um, and looked back on and actually resonate so much with it and seen the growth and how much you can grow um, individually as a person and just when you set goals and you aim for them, um, you're literally unstoppable. I want to say that now. If you have goals, no matter how big or small they are, as long as you work at it every single day, you will be surprised at what you can achieve and what goals you can actually check off your list that you've achieved. So a couple of the main ones that I've achieved in under six months are I graduated cosmetology school, yay me. Um, I honestly, that was a dream come true. I still can't believe that I'm a certified hairstylist and that I actually went to cosmetology school at age 28. Um, another thing is it was just my birthday, May 29th. I am 29 years old. I can't believe it. I feel so amazing at 29. I feel so blessed, so thankful. And I don't use that word blessed very often, but right now in, at the age of 29, I've just been really really into vibes and energy and I I can feel that I've I've grown a lot as a person in the past I'd say even six months but um, I'm really noticing the things that I want out of life and in my life and the people I want in my life and the people I want to be surrounded by and I I can't say enough how forever grateful I am for my boyfriend especially who pushed me and motivated me and told me, hey, you know what, go back to co go back to school, go to cosmetology school, this is what you've always wanted to do. And if it wasn't for him, I don't know if I could say, yes, I put in the hard work and I did that and I and I looked for the school and stuff, but if it wasn't for him on the sideline, motivating me and be being my biggest um, supporter, I don't know if I could have done it. Sorry, someone decides to call me right in the middle of this video. Um, so yes, I, I graduated cosmetology school. That was the number one thing on my list to to really focus on cosmetology school, make sure that I graduate. Um, and I did. I did it. And I can say that there was days when it wasn't easy, especially with like the the exam at the end. Like I hate exams. I get so nervous. Any any test, I just I feel like I'll just flunk it just because you know it's an exam or it's a test. Like it's, it gives me so much anxiety, but I pushed through and I worked super hard and I studied a lot and I, I put everything else aside and I put, I worked specifically on achieving that goal and I can say now that I'm here, I did it, I made it and now that's over with. Whew. And I am now a certified hairstylist and I can't wait to hopefully one day meet some of you and do your hair. Um, so yes, I graduated cosmetology school. And then um, another thing that I checked off of my little box that I, what a goal that I was working towards was I either one, wanted to be in our own space, like own a home or in a bigger space, not a 500 foot condo, um, which was like living in a little shoebox. And I don't get me wrong, I'm not sitting here and bashing on anyone who is in a condo. Um, we have 
grown a lot over the past I'd say nine years we've been together nine years so we've both collected our fair share of clothing shoes furniture and stuff like that and originally when we moved into that condo um we thought it was a bit bigger we didn't realize how tight and small it really was i think for a single person you'd be perfect or if you're just starting out and you don't have much furniture or anything it's a great starting point but when you've been with someone and in a relationship for nine years and you already have a bunch of stuff like a whole house that's coming with you that just didn't cut it for us but it was definitely a stepping stone and honestly we've we came from basement suites to like ground level floors all that type of stuff so i'm not saying i'm not bashing anyone that comes from that because we definitely did um but i just knew in my heart that um i needed to find a bigger space something that had at least two bedrooms we were fortunate enough to find a townhouse it's a lot more money yes but it's definitely worth it um so we moved into a townhouse it's a four bedroom townhouse and yes i still take clients um at home uh, for lashes and brows and everything hair related is in the salon um, i have cut back a lot on taking clients for my beauty business for lashes and brows um, however that doesn't mean that i'm just completely thrown that in the trash like i still fully want to do all of that and i never want to stop being um, in the beauty industry and get provide all these services because i think it's um, amazing and i love making women um, feel beautiful i love helping them gain that confidence back that maybe they lost or give them confidence that they've never had like that's a big motivation for me and i will never stop doing something that makes women feel empowered and confident and leaving my door with a smile on their face not my door but leaving my salon or my house whatever it is i whatever it takes to make them leave happy um i i go above and beyond because i want to make sure that my clients are 100 percent satisfied um so i checked off graduating cosmetology school and then i got to check off um moving into a bigger space and when i got into this bigger space you know i had worked so hard to do to be here and to get here and so I'd, so on my partner um don't get me wrong like when i say i a lot of the time it's we but because this video is mainly me in it he's not here this is my channel so i'm going to be talking about me a lot here um and i say that in the most unselfish way possible but um, yes, to get where I am today, I definitely have always had the support of my partner and I am forever thankful for him and um, yeah, couldn't have done a lot of this without him. He's amazing. I love you so much, Dallas. I hope that you know that. Um, but yeah, so I don't know why I'm just, I really, when I moved in here, I felt very blessed, very, very, very grateful and you know, like something turned inside of me like i was always someone who's always working so hard and motivated to work towards my goals and things that i wanted and then as soon as i started checking off the boxes of all the things i wanted and things started to slow down and you know i i found the salon that um i thought i was going to be at forever i'm going to go more into that in a little bit here but when i started to realize that things are starting to slow down and like all these things that i wanted are becoming reality and they're not just things that i had wished for or dream about or like you know worked really hard to get and don't get me wrong like these things still have you still have to work at them you still have to pay your bills you still have to pay your rent stuff like that so like in that form yes i know that i still have to work hard to maintain the life that i have but i still have achieved it and i'm just not sure now that i'm here um if this is if this was something that i actually really needed i guess you could say like we have a four bedroom house and there's only two of us we have a lot of extra space i find that we're not using a lot of the space just because we came from a 500 square foot condo and it was like living um very small everything was literally you go to the kitchen it's right there now when i have to go to the kitchen it's downstairs and um, even my boyfriend, we're finding that we're living mainly on like the third floor and yes, we appreciate the, all the space and we love it so much, but it's like, is this necessary for us? Do we need this big of a space? Like there's just two of us and I'm not ungrateful for it at all because I've prayed and I've worked so hard to be in this position and to have all this space, um, for all of our stuff and all of our clothes and our shoes and, um, to be able to make a home, like 
and to, for it to feel like a home like we've worked so hard to be here um but i guess at the end of the day like i'm such a i'm not someone who cares so much about like all the fancy stuff i'm very realistic when it comes to things that i that i want like i used to be someone who would want all these luxury things like the handbags and maybe a car and like i thought that that stuff was all so important but as you get older you realize that it doesn't matter about how big your house is it doesn't matter about the car that you drive it doesn't matter about what bag you have um what matters is how you feel inside and how you live your life if you have all these things but you're so unhappy um what does that really do for you if at the end of the day you're still not happy um i think having a smaller house or a car that's reliable rather than having all these luxury things and having to worry about um making payments and stuff for it i think that at the end of the day making sure that your happiness is put above everything is the most important and um you know like even with our vehicle like we've never financed the vehicle if we can't afford to buy it then we just won't get it and that's the way that it works for a lot of things in our lives like we will never go out of our way to buy something if at the end of the day we can't afford it um realistically like that's the world that i live in and i know that with social media it can be such a harsh thing and especially with a lot of younger girls and i'm speaking to you especially to those younger girls don't feel like you need to keep up with that unrealistic expectation of what the internet serves a lot of people that post online they it's flaunting a lot of it is not even like they may go into a store purchase a bag and then you know have to return it the next day after they flaunt it all over the internet like i i just want you to know that living a happy and uh, fulfilled life is so much more important than the clothes that you have on or the bag that you have or the car that you drive um and even the people that you surround yourself with like make sure you're surrounding yourself with such genuine people because as you get older those are the people that you're going to want to have near um and they're the people that are going to actually be there for you and you know it's hard to find those genuine people so i'm i really want to make sure that like you just Focus hard now on being as genuine as possible to yourself as well. Be authentic. Don't don't let this world of living in a fake world and being fake um, and the internet expose you to all that type of unrealistic. Um, and you know how to word it properly. Just when I get into this, I'm so passionate about making women feel so good that when I think of the internet, I think of how it's literally just destroys women's confidence especially i couldn't imagine especially being a younger girl um seeing half the things like tiktok and stuff i just don't even i can't open that kind of worms i haven't yet i'm not on there i say yet because who knows what the future holds but right now me and my boyfriend are, we just got on instagram like last year after so many years and we still we're like mm, it's whatever you know what i mean so Hey guys, I'm sorry about the quality change here. My camera decided to die on me. I guess I was doing a little bit too much talking. Um, but basically what I was saying is just, I don't want you to feel influenced by what you see online. I really want you guys to live your best life. Pretend that social media is not a thing and just really fulfill your life in a way that when you go to bed at night, you feel so happy and so 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 beyond fulfilled that nothing could take that away from you um work towards goals that matter in real life work towards things that bring you happiness um work out do whatever makes you feel good go get your hair done because you want to feel good and not to flaunt it or show it off you know what i mean like do things that actually um make you feel good and not just for the internet don't just in don't just go take adventures because you need something to post online stuff like that um i know i'm i'm talking a little choppy i'm just trying to find the words uh but that's basically where i want to go with that i just want to make sure that at the end of the day i'm doing my part in making women especially feel beautiful confident and just 
we've been feeling them best their best selves and that's extremely important to me and that's why I love what I do um so basically what I want to come on here and talk to you guys about as well is leading up to accomplishing all these goals that I had and ticking them off and you know I was working so hard to to get to where I am and um I felt like when I moved into this this townhouse is when I started feeling the most depressed I've felt in ages I don't know what what happened like complete 180 like I felt like everything was going so freaking good and it it is it's going so good but you know like when you start checking off those things you're just like what's next you know when you work so hard to reach those goals and then you reach them and then you're like what's next like even reaching a thousand subscribers on youtube here like i've accomplished that so it's like what's next obviously i want to continue to grow and i and i want to get my content out there and i want to be i would love to do youtube full time like that is definitely a goal of mine um no matter how much i love doing hair like i would love to do that too but i love the idea of having that freedom completely and just filming videos and you know like making a living off of it like who doesn't want to do that that's amazing um obviously that's not why I joined YouTube I didn't join YouTube for any of that this is just kind of me speaking it into existence you know like speaking it into the world um I'm really into like vibrations vibes and like um I'm just really into that type of stuff now as I was saying so I'm just really trying to speak like things that I want into the universe and hopefully it will come back to me um but so when I first moved in here I started getting really depressed and I am still it's been I think two months now April May June yeah about two months we've been in this townhouse and I'm just starting to overcome that depression depressive state and um it's not something that I really battle with too much anymore like yeah sometimes I feel less motivated but like who doesn't we all have our ups and downs um but this depressive state has actually taken a toll on me it's um I haven't been as motivated to get our house all set up and organized I did like the downstairs and stuff like that like what we have for now obviously we want to change out a few things but like right now this house is quite a bit so I'm trying to save up and you know like pay all the bills and everything so there's a few things that are kind of left on the back burner until we can financially afford to make those changes um but we'll be adding things in and taking things out and stuff like that like throughout the next two years that we're here um but right now my main focus is just trying to do things that are going to help me get out of this depressive state and one thing that I've learned that really helps is making sure that I'm cleaning the house um it took me about three weeks just to do a deep cleaning in our bathroom i know that sounds so bad like it wasn't dirty it wasn't filthy it didn't even need cleaning but for me like i'm a very clean clean person so um it was something that i was looking at and i'm like oh i need to clean that bathtub or i need to clean that shower and like it's just things that i knew need to get done but i was procrastinating it quite a bit and that is the depression that was taking that motivation away so the past week I've been really being like, no, you know what, Lana, you're going to get off of your phone. You're going to stop going on YouTube. You're going to stop being on Instagram. Um, you're going to stop worrying about like my hair page and stuff like that. And I'm going to put my focus on to what's going to make me feel good around my house. So I decided to um, stop allowing the depression to control me. And I decided that, you know, what, I'm going to fight back a bit and I'm going to start doing things a little at a time. Um, because obviously it can't just happen overnight, um, especially when you're going through an episode like this, you just have to take things day by day. And so I've really just been trying to focus on one little task a day, doing things that really help me. Um, like yesterday I painted my toenails. I took off my shellac that I had on before, just doing some self care, um, doing some leave-in conditioners and stuff like that on my hair. Um, and then like, Today I went upstairs on our patio and I wrote in my in my calendar all the dates that are coming up and things that are like the days I work and stuff like that just so that I have it all organized because I love being organized and I love knowing like what days I'm doing this, what days I'm doing that that are important and then obviously not every day I have my life scheduled out but like the important dates that I know are coming up, I like to have those in my, um, in my, uh, 
what is it, weekly planner in my planner. I like to have that type of stuff in my planner that way I know, okay, this day I have to do this or that day I have to do that, you know what I mean? So doing that type of thing, making sure that like the dishes are being done, vacuuming. I was actually able to get some cleaning done around the house and it just, being in a clean environment makes everything better. And I'm not saying that my house was not clean before, it just wasn't clean to my standards. Um, so I'm just taking the initiative of doing that and making sure that I'm keeping up on my laundry, which I'm usually really good at. Um, but you know, when you're in a depressive state, like you don't want to do anything, you just, you're just really bummed out. And I'm just trying to convert from being in that state and really living in the moment of what I have. And I think now I'm starting to realize, okay, um, there definitely is still things to work at work for and that just because I've been checking off some boxes doesn't mean that all my hard work just needs to like you know go nowhere now and just like feel content because I'm not someone who's just content where I am I always feel like there's room for improvement and growth and so that's my biggest thing is that I was feeling like kind of stuck you know like you achieve something and then you're like oh well what next and that's what I keep saying is what's next and honestly at this given time I don't know what is next um but another thing that I think kind of took a toll on me is that um my salon that I'm at I've been there for about three months going on four we have just been informed in the middle of May that our it was a couple of weeks before my 29th birthday we were informed at our team meeting that the owner has decided to close the salon. So because I'm still new right out of school, um, I was like, oh damn, like this is a this is really shitty. Um only because like I kind of was planning, like I just signed a two-year lease here in Abbotsford. Um and I was like, well, you know what, like maybe I wouldn't have signed that this lease and maybe we would have moved closer to um, the city because we really do miss being out that way and we love it over like near Vancouver because um, we just love exploring and like the drive from Abbotsford can be quite daunting and it's it's a far drive it's definitely especially with the gas prices and everything like we don't do that drive as often as we'd like anymore um, so that kind of took, took me for me. a wind whirl as well because I'm like okay now I was already kind of in that stage of like what next and then this came up and then you know, I'm the type of person who I overthink every little thing, every little thing, and I get stressed out so freaking easily. So that just added on to like all the the depression that I was already kind of dealing with of just like what next. And then, you know, I'm looking at it and like there really is a bright side to this though. Like at the end of the day, like I'm forever grateful for ambition and what they have taught me in the last three months. I've learned so much and I'm so grateful that I'm taking that knowledge with me. Um, I have been very lucky and I've already found a new salon that I'll be joining um, at the end of July. The last day at Ambition is July 22nd. However, I may uh, be starting at the new salon maybe a couple weeks before that or maybe just after Ambition closes. I'm not sure yet. The um, owner at the new salon, she'll be reaching out to me. We've already met up and um, I really think that this new salon is a perfect fit for me. I'm super excited. The owner is so genuine and her vibe was just completely what what I'm looking for in um, someone to to work under. I'm super excited to be working under her. She seems very knowledgeable. She's been an instructor for like a long time, like not an instructor, an educator um, for a really long time. She's been in the hair industry for about 20 plus years. So I'm super excited to be learning from the best. Um, and to join this team and it's going to be right downtown Abbotsford which is so nice because I still get to work close to home it's like a three minute drive like you can't you can't beat that there was other salons that yes I was looking at that were more towards the city but I was like you know what for me I'm someone who loves to work close to home because then I don't have to wake up super early before before going into work even though like now I've been on a I found that my routine now is that I love to wake up early. I love being awake two hours before I start my show so that I can actually fully wake up, do what I got to do, get ready, you know, and like ease into the day where before, like when I was going to school, I would wake up like literally 10 minutes before I would leave, throw on some clothes and there I was heading into Vancouver. But I've just been really trying to change some things um, in my life for the best and I can say that it's definitely helped. Um... 
but yeah that depressive state lasted for a good two months and I'm officially getting over it and I'm so so excited for what's yet to come and honestly making this video for you guys and sharing this journey so far with you guys has been it's been so amazing and I love that I can hop on here and express what I'm going through and hope that it resonates or sits with someone else and can help someone else or maybe motivate you guys to get out of your depressive state or maybe help you um, aim for some of the dreams and goals that you have because honestly, it can be the smallest or biggest thing if you work at it every single day and you stay determined, that dream can become a reality just like that in a blink of an eye under six months I've already accomplished two things on my list and um I I'm so so thankful and I really am excited for what what YouTube looks like in the next year even I'm gonna try and post as often as I can I'm gonna give me ideas guys I need some ideas that's another thing I kind of became like oh what do I put on my channel like I, I know that you guys love the hair stuff but like I can't tamper with my own hair anymore. It's 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 at the state where it's not in a healthy condition at all. And being a stylist now, like I, I know the things that I should and shouldn't do, especially on my own hair. Um, and then having those chemical uh, burns that I got from a stylist before starting cosmetology school, like I know my hair is just, it needs to be revived. And I'm really considering um, going back to brunette instead of being blonde that is still kind of in discussion i love being blonde and i went through hell and back to be blonde so we'll see i know you can't see what my hair looks like right now because i'm wearing a hat but um it's not in its greatest state and that's something that's kind of been taking a toll on me as well is that my hair is something that has always given me that extra confidence and with my hair being in the state that it is i've just Feel like that's kind of dragged me down a bit too but you know what at the end of the day it's only hair and like i'm not gonna let the way my hair looks define who I am as a person. I know that I'm a very genuine person and I care so deeply about the people around me and I have nothing but love for everyone. So um, go ahead, judge me for the way my hair looks, but I know deep down inside that I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an amazing person and I am a gem. <laughs> and yes, I'm Gemini, but I'm a gem. Um, so yeah, don't let your hair define you. Don't let your acne define you. Don't let your insecurities define who you are. How you treat people um, is the most important thing and honestly treat people the way you want to be treated. Be kind. We are all going through so much, especially post-pandemic, whatever you want to say. I don't know. Um, but now is the time to really stop being selfish. I noticed during quarantine and COVID, like everyone became so selfish. Um, I'll be the first to say that. But let's stop being selfish and I say let's because, you know, there's a time when I, I know I can be a better person. Um, but let's really be kind to one another. If you see someone and they look like they're not having the greatest day, be kind. It doesn't, it doesn't cost you anything to be a nice person. It doesn't cost you anything to smile. Um, smiles are contagious. So, yeah, I literally just want to jump on here and kind of give you guys a little bit of an update. I know that this video is probably going to be extremely long. I'm sorry for that. Um, I tend to rant on, but these are things that I hold so deeply. And I really felt like this is my platform and I want to share this on here. The good, the bad, the ugly. I know sometimes my videos, I wanted to focus more on like the uplifting and the positive ones. But you know what? We only grow as humans by going through tough times and I don't want to just make it look like my life is so perfect especially on the internet like it's not and I'm not a perfect human being I'm completely imperfect but that that is who we are no one is perfect at the end of the day um you may think I'm perfect but I'm not I have a lot of battles outside of uh the internet and in my personal life and you know what everything is a journey and I just hope that we can all get through this together. And if you, if there's any questions, anything at all, leave a comment down below. Any videos that you'd like to see from me. Um, otherwise, you can follow me over on my Instagram, which is Sassy Girl Adventures. Um, that's on Instagram. I don't have TikTok. 
Um, but yeah, follow me there. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if you're um, coming out of a depressive state, if you're in depression right now. Like, I want to send you nothing but love and positivity and you're going to get through it. Just take one small step a day. Do something that's going to make you feel good, even if it's just putting on your makeup, doing your hair, dressing up cute, taking some pictures. Do whatever you got to do, girl. Um, just know that I'm here for you. Virtually, I'm here for you. Nothing but love here and I can't wait to see you all soon. Bye.